I'm sorry I wasn't here last night. I went to the footbridge, you know? Jason used to always go there and think. It's probably best if you weren't here. Why, what happened? That son of a gun, Renault, he called to gloat about Jason. You gotta be kidding me. Well, that guy doesn't know when to stop. Well, I figured he'd learn his lesson after I didn't have him taken out in prison. Yeah, and he just sees it as one more opportunity to come after you. And now that Jason's gone, he's, he feels he's bolder than ever. He still has influence. He does? Well, yeah. I mean, he really does. Jason and I were thinking that Cyrus is the reason why Laura's out of town. I mean, Kevin is tight-lipped about it. Martin Gray left Fort Charles around the same time. We're thinking that she's in witness protection. Because of Renault? Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Morning. God told me to come right in. I hope it's OK. It's OK. It's more than OK. Oh, my gosh. So good to see you. What do you think let you in through security? <laughs> It's been a while. We were hoping you'd come by. Wait, 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 wait. Who is this? <laughs> Drew, this is Donna Corinthos. And sweetheart, this is your Uncle Drew. He's been away for a little while. Can you say hi? Oh, my goodness. It is such a pleasure to meet you, beauty. Congratulations. Congratulations. Man, you turn your back on Fort Charles for five minutes and everything changes. Donna's awesome. Such a blessing, that one. So beautiful. Yeah, we think so. Look, I, um, I can't imagine how hard this is for you. Jason was so important to so many people, especially you two, and I know that I am just a reminder of, of that profound loss. Please don't say that. You're alive, and that is a great comfort. Don't think that we've forgotten everything you've done for us. We're relieved that you, you survived. The only reason I'm alive is because of Jason. Peter knew how to activate the conditioning, and so he, um, he wanted to put on a demonstration for Jason for bread. He had me, had me hold a knife to Jason's throat. He had me cut open my own arm. Bastard. I mean, I don't, I don't remember any of that, right? But Jason was paying attention, and, and he took full advantage. He saw how Peter put me under, and then he saw how he brought me back out. He was, he was just so convinced that the two of us could take Peter down, but I just wasn't so sure. And I told him if things went sideways, that I wanted him to stop me no matter what. You mean? To kill me, if it came to that. But instead, Jason was the one who lost his life. I did not mean to go there. How else can you go there with than your friends? And that hasn't changed just because you've been gone. If you need anything, just say the word. I know that, Sonny. Thank you. Right now, I, uh, I really just want to make sure I get to know my daughter again. How did Scout react when she saw you? She was a little shy. She just knows me from pictures, so. Well, she's a kid, you know, they adapt pretty fast. That's right. Hmm. Speaking of kids, I gotta say congratulations again, man. Donna is so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. How about your other girls? How, how's Jocelyn? Uh, <laughs> in college? <laughs> Not possible. It is possible as much as I hate to believe it. <laughs> and what about Avery? How's she? Smart, sweet, just beautiful. We're so lucky to have our daughters, aren't we? Absolutely. Oh, I better get going. Oh. I just want to. Uh, I just really want to say thank you to both of you for everything. Yeah. Please don't be a stranger. Hmm. Okay. I won't. I won't. <sighs> Poor Drew. What a burden. Surviving when Jason didn't. At least he has his family and his daughter. We have our kids, too. I mean, even though we're grieving, we, we really need to count our blessings. Yeah, and take care of the people who love us. Which is why we need to get to the hospital. We need to support Brando and Sasha. Yeah. 